Hello everyone. So today the question that we're going to solve is this. The figure below is made up of one big circle and four identical small circles. The diameter of the big circle is 10 cm and we are supposed to find the parameter of the shaded parts. And for this question, we'll take pi to be 3.14. Okay, so how do we go about solving it? Okay, first of all, this might look very complicated to some of you out there. So the first thing that we need to do is to think about how the parameter of the shaded parts is actually linked to the topic of circles. Okay, because you see many circles here, right? The first thing that comes to mind should be parameter measures the length, correct? So when we talk about parameter of the circle, it should be quite easy for you to relate to the circumference of the circle as well. And do you remember the formula to calculate the circumference of a circle? Yes. Okay, it's 2 pi r or diameter times r. Okay, reason being when you add up 2 radius of a circle, it will actually give you the diameter of the circle. Okay, okay next. Now that we know the circumference of the circle, what we can do is to take a highlighter or a pen and try to trace the circumference of the circles that we see. Okay, so if we were to do that, we realize something very interesting. You realize that the parameter of the shaded part is actually equal to the circumference of four small circles. Okay, the four small circles you see here, plus the circumference of the big circle. Correct? So, although it looks very complicated, it's just out there to scare you. Now that we know what to find, solving the question should be easy peasy. Okay, so the next step we need to do is mm, remember. In order to find the circumference of the circle, we need to find either the diameter or the radius, right? So, for the big circle, it's very easy to find the circumference because we know its diameter, correct? But do we know the diameter of the smaller circle? No, right? So, the next step that we should do is to find the diameter of the small circle. Okay, and how do we do that? Okay. We know that the diameter of the smaller circle is actually the radius of the bigger circle. Okay, so in order to find the diameter of the small circle, all we need to do is to take 10 divided by 2. Okay, so we have a value of 5 cm. Okay, this is what we know. So far, so good. Now, on to the next step. We can finally find what is being asked. Okay, so in order to find the parameter of the shaded part, okay, what we do is to take 5 times 3.14, which is the diameter of the smaller circle, times pi to find its circumference. Okay, and because we have 4 of that, we have to times 4 to it. Okay, and after we are done with that, we have to add okay, the circumference of the bigger circle, and we can do that by taking the diameter of 10 times pi, which has a value of 3.14. And yeah, with that, we are done. We have found the area of the shaded part, which is 94.2 cm. Okay, now that we are done, let's move on to take a look at the next part. The next part asks us to find the area of the shaded parts. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Remember, for the first part of the question, what we did was actually to simplify the shapes. Okay, so here we can actually do the same thing. Okay, first of all, let's break down the figure into simpler parts. Okay, looking at this figure, what can you tell? You realize that the area of the shaded part is actually equal to the area of the big circle minus the area of the four white parts. Correct? And then you realize, eh, hey, this is kind of funny because. I've learned how to find the area of a circle, a square, a triangle, okay, and so on and so forth. But I have never learned how to find the area of this white shape. It seems kind of weird, right? Okay, not to worry. Let's just take a look at the small circle first and think about how we can find the area of the white part. We realize that the diameter of the small circle is 5 cm, correct? So if we were to draw a straight line horizontally across the origin, Okay, of the circle to the other side, we will have a diameter of 5 cm here. And if I were to draw a straight line vertically this time through the origin, do you agree that the diameter of the small circle is also 5 cm? 
Correct, right? Okay, now we are going to perform some magic. Okay, so if let's say I were to draw a straight line, okay, joining these two radius together, okay, and another straight line through these two radius, okay, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. What do you see? Do you see two very familiar shapes? In case you don't, okay, let's just take a look at what we have. We will actually have something like this, okay, a circle, okay, and a square. Okay, why a square? If I were to move this previously shaded part over here, okay, and this uh, previously shaded part over here, the white part is actually equivalent to the area of the square, right? How fantastic is that? Finding the area of the square is not that difficult. Okay, and the next thing we need to think about is, are we able to find out what's the area of the square? From the circle, we do know that its diameter is actually 5cm, right? So it wouldn't be too hard to find the radius of the small circle. In order to find the radius of the small circle, we take 5cm divided by 2. Okay, so we have a value of 2.5cm. This radius here is 2.5cm. This radius here is also 2.5cm. So by looking at this, right, you realize that we have the base okay, and the height of a triangle. And in order to find the area of the square, can you see that the square is actually made up of four right-angled triangles? Correct? Okay, so in order to find the area of this square here, what we do is, we just need to find the area of the four tiny triangles. And we can do that by taking the base times height times half. Okay, this is the formula to find the area of a triangle. And because we have four of them, we'll take this number, times 4. Okay, so we know that the base of the triangle is 2.5 and the height of the triangle is also 2.5. Okay, we'll substitute the values in and finally this is what we should get. Okay, the area of one white part is actually 12.5 cm square. Okay, great. Okay, we are done with the most difficult part of the whole question already, okay? So once we know the area of one small white part, it should be very easy to find the area of four white parts, correct? So this is what we are going to do next. Okay, we find the area of four white parts. Okay, just take 12.5 times four of them and we will get a value of 50 cm square. Okay, I now know the area of the four white parts. But the question did not ask us about that, correct? The question actually asked us to find the area of the shaded part. So in order to do that, let's move on to find the area of the big circle. Okay, the area of the big circle is uh, pi r square. So we'll take the value of, remember the value of pi is 3.14. So 3.14 times 5, which is the radius of the big circle, okay, times 5, we will have a value of 78.5 cm square. And from there, we are able to find the area of the shaded part. Okay, easy peasy. All we need to do is to take the area of the big circle, which is 78.5, okay, minus the area of the four white parts, which is 50 cm square or 50 square cm. And in the end, we should have a final answer of 28.5 square cm. Okay, for the area of the shaded part. Did you manage to get that? Thank you for watching this video. We hope that it has been useful to all of you out there. If you're interested to watch more similar videos, please feel free to visit us at our YouTube page. Alternatively, you can also find us on Facebook. Till next time, bye.